morning guys welcome back to my channel it's saturday and i was supposed to shoot today but my shoot got canceled so i actually have some time today to like do things that make me feel good I have been meditating every day, which is great, and I've been getting on my mat most days, but it is nice to have some time to pull a tarot card, journal, read a little, have a leisurely morning. It's much needed around here. Just drinking some celery juice and trying to decide what I'm going to do today because my whole day has changed. Today is a great metaphor for life because you can make a plan and you can try to execute that plan, but we literally have no control over anything. We've convinced ourselves that we do, but we really don't. <laughs> The only thing we have control over truly is our thoughts and our perspective and our actions and behavior. So instead of letting this uh, schedule change throw me off in a bad way, I'm practicing what I preach and going with the flow and just seeing where the day takes me. And I thought I'd bring you along with me. Oh yeah, also, if this is your first video of mine that you're watching, hi, welcome. <laughs> I'm Shayla and I post videos about yoga, wellness, fitness, health, mindfulness, productivity, routines, self-love, self-discovery, plant-based recipes, basically all of the things. And if you're not already, I would love it if you would hit the subscribe button on my channel so that we could make this a long-term thing, you know? I hope you stick around a while. I do have a little bit of work to do today in regards to my podcast. I have a couple of podcast episodes that I need to edit and I'm really in the vibe of writing today. I'm feeling all of the feels, especially after my meditation practice. So I feel like I might get a little bit of writing done as well. Yeah, just kind of have a no pressure, creative me day. Cheers to that. I also wanna get on my yoga mat later, obviously. And yeah, we'll just see where the day takes us. It's so nice to not have a plan. I love it. <laughs> I'm honestly a planner by nature, but I think this is good for me. So I'm forcing myself to not have a plan and to just go with the flow. Okay, super random, but I was on a walk with the dogs and I was chatting with my mom and she was like, oh, I'm gonna have lasagna tonight. I'm gonna make lasagna. And I immediately was like, ooh, I wanna make vegan lasagna. So after my walk, I decided to go to the store and pick up a few things to make a vegan lasagna. Is anyone else like that? Literally, if I'm like watching a show, if I see like photos of food and obviously like I'm vibing with the food, I start to crave that thing. And I'm just the type like want it, need it, gotta have it. So we're gonna make vegan lasagna and it's gonna be good. And it's gonna be super simple. I feel like I've made it on here before, but I could be wrong. Anyway, thought I would show you what I got at the store. I only picked up a few things. Kind of random, kind of not, but I'll show you anyways. Got some garbanzo beans, cherry tomatoes, zucchini, Japanese sweet potato, Persian cucumbers, mango, eggplant, avocado, mushrooms, vegan ricotta for our lasagna. I like this one by Kite Hill because the ingredients are super clean. Got some carrot sticks, some fresh orange juice, some kale salad to make a little salad, organic coconut water, no boil lasagna noodles, which if you have Whole Foods where you are, these ones are great and they are vegan, which is great. They're super easy to use. I also got a box of this vegan mac and cheese because I thought maybe I might wanna have a mac and cheese night. And I really like this one. It's really yummy. I don't buy this kind of stuff all the time, but it just was staring at me in the pasta aisle and I just had to get it anyway. And then I also got these veggie crisps, which you guys know I don't buy a ton of processed foods, but I, freaking love these so much. They're so good. They're so good. The salad I'm making is the same salad I make all the time. It's my kale detox salad. I will link the recipe for it in the description box below. And then I'll show you how I'm going to make the lasagna. And I think I'm going to make it now and prep it for dinner. Obviously I'm going to snack while I cook because does not everyone? <laughs>
Salad is done. Lasagna is smelling so good. Actually, let's check on that. Oh yes, that is looking so good. I just turned the oven off. So I'm just gonna let it be in here until I'm ready to eat it. It's time for yoga and some self-care. It is Saturday after all. so sore from my workouts this week and I did a power yoga practice yesterday so my body is exhausted that was so nice I needed to just like throw on a chill playlist and just focused on my breath and move my body a little bit and also found stillness and that is just what I needed except this one loves to get in my business when I'm on my mat no, no, your time to shine I'm feeling like it's time to maybe get into my pajamas. I, I, I mean, I know the sun's still out. I know it's early. I know it's Saturday night, but I have an eight o'clock workout tomorrow and I'm working tomorrow and I'm just like in the mood to veg out. <laughs> have my little wellness cart. Cute, right? Why I'm showing this to you is because I have some pink Himalayan sea salt soak that I could use because I am sore and I wanna be able to move my body tomorrow for my workout. Here is our little skincare lineup for the evening. I'm gonna take my makeup off with one of these reusable makeup remover pads. These are amazing, you guys. I've been using these for quite some time now and I love them and they're eco-friendly. They are also linked on my website. And I'm gonna wash with this cleanser from Drunk Elephant, which I really, really love. I've been switching off between this one and another one and I really like it. And then I will do this TLC Baby Facial while I'm soaking in the tub. This one is kind of like a little at-home gentle peel. I've definitely talked about it before on here. I really love it. And then when I get out of the bath and after I wash that off, I'm gonna do a moisture mask. And then I'm gonna follow it up with a little facial massage using my Rose Quartz Washa, which is also linked on the shop page on my website. Let the self-care commence. dinner, maybe watch a movie on Netflix. You know, just treating myself like I'm dating myself and that's the way it should be. If you're watching this in real time, you'll be watching this on Valentine's Day. And whether you're single or in a relationship, happy Valentine's Day. Celebrate love, love for yourself, love for your friends, love for your family, love for your significant other if you have one, love for your pets. And just try not to let this day make you feel like you're lacking something, but rather let it inspire you to focus on what you do have and cultivate 
love and gratitude. Cheers. Thank you for watching. I will see you in my next video.